Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1 GCM, here at the ARO Laboratory. Let's take a look at the Osheng KG UV 920R. Well, here's what you get with this mobile rig. You have the microphone, which has all the buttons that the radio does here. They're large buttons, they're easy to hit, easy to manipulate, and there is a speaker built inside this microphone. So if you're in a noisy environment, you can hold this up to your ear and hear what's going on. This also comes with some software right here. And uh, notice that the front panel is at an angle. If you don't like that, you can make the panel go straight out with these adapter plates. And over here is the mobile mounting bracket. You know what I would do if I was going to operate this in my shack and not in my car, I'd still put it in the mobile mounting bracket. That way the bottom surface is lifted up and the heat sink down here is cooled. All right, let's see what else we come with. Oh yes, this uh, detachable head has an extension cord that it comes with so you can mount this under the seat and have the head up on your dashboard. Now let's take a real quick look at the front panel. And buttons are down here. These are the enter buttons, one, two, three, four, and look, nine's over here, and zero is over here. It took me a while to find the zero. <laughs> and we'll spin it around, and we'll look at the back side of the mobile unit here. We have the SO239 connector, the cooling fan, which comes on when things get warm, and this little flap that folds down with two speaker outputs, one for two meters, one for 70 centimeters. How about that? Let's turn the Osheng on. Here's the power button. Press it down and hold. There it is. And by the way, you can change the colors on the display. And this radio does talk in English. You can shut the voice off, or you could actually uh, program it to uh, talk in Chinese. Well, the display over here is for two meters. Here's 70 centimeters. Let's change the frequency. I can do that with the microphone. That's easiest, I've found. I'll hit the megahertz button first. Then I can dial in. One, four, six, five, two, zero. Okay, and there we are on the national simplex calling frequency. I can go into the menu with the menu button. Function select. And I can change the step, step for instance. Frequency. We're on five kilohertz steps and I could uh, bump that up to 10 kilohertz steps, for instance. And then when I'm all set, I hit the menu button again, Enter. and exit, and we're there. Easy to adjust the menu, although the front buttons are kind of small. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, the ARL test engineer here at the ARL Laboratory.